So I've been doing pottery for what, about five years now. Started when I moved here in the UK originally, I was six months in, and I just really fell in love with it, and I've been doing that ever since. Originally, I think it was just getting out the house and doing something tactile, kind of like turning my brain off. And it's really mindful to kind of like just play with clay. Uh, you can really switch off, ignore everything that's going on in the world and just focus on the piece of clay for like a few hours. Even though at the beginning I wasn't that great, that just made me want to perceive it even more and carry on and do it uh, even more every day. My day to day is if I am not teaching, then it's kind of like a day that I'll get to just focus on my own work. I put a little bit of a TV show on and then just crack on and do some work. And it's just nice. I tend to again, switch off and just make some pots. I never thought that it would become like a full-time business where people would be like excited about learning the ways of doing clay and having me as a teacher to show them kind of like how to do it. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad it happened. I find it very rewarding to kind of like teach them and seeing people succeed. I'm just kind of like getting my hands around there, applying a nice and even pressure on the top and the bottom. Just go in with one finger in the middle, poke a hole and then go straight down. Push quite hard to make the clay go up and inward. We're kind of like aiming for a little volcano here. So pushing from the inside and lifting from the outside. My favorite part would probably be uh, when it comes to do the trimming. You kind of like just shave away with like little tools, all that excess of clay that's at the bottom and you really refine the shape. And this is normally where the the pot really comes alive and it's just really satisfying to watch all the little ribbons flying out. That's really nice. I really enjoy as well glaze making. It's a bit more of a nerdy side of pottery, uh, a lot more of a chemicals in, involved. Uh, it takes a bit of time because you have to put it in the kiln, but uh, I like the fact that, you know, I keep my shape pretty simple, but with just a glaze, they can make it or break it. I was quite a perfectionist person and I really wanted everything to be kind of like perfect and you know you compare yourself to other people on social media and you're like oh I'm not as good uh, oh there's a little thing here a little fault a little mistake there so I just thought you know it's all about learning on letting go of like perfection a little bit embracing every like uniqueness in every part and just with that I just decided to call it faulty stone so there's little imperfection uniqueness in every part they're never all factory perfect the same but I think that's what makes it nice and unique handmade I think what people really like about handmade stuff is they know that they actually support a person that they can connect with you know like I've got people that follows me on social media and they're like oh I finally got your part and it's, it's amazing to see your journey like everything over the years so I think it's like the fact that they can connect with the person that's made there makes it a little bit more of a ritual, you know, when they buy your piece, they're like, oh yeah, I really, I really like that person. They kind of feel a bit more connected to the brand, to the person that's made them. So what makes a good piece of ceramic? Um, normally I would say the first thing is the weight of it. Um, so I like, things that are a little bit more on the lighter side, um, things that feel, you know, if you think about a mug, and then things that feel comfortable to hold, or if you've got a, a bowl, then you want to have like the, fun like the nice functionality that everything kind of pulls down to a really nice round inside. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of like little bits and bobs like that that makes every kind of like little part of a pot. I like simple things, a simple shape, normally like something that's a bit more straight line, a bit more like contemporary, modern kind of design. Um, but yeah, like most of the time, very simple pieces. I think there's beauty in simplicity. And I just want things that are nice to be used at home. And that's literally what, you know, what I make is what I would like to buy.
started doing pottery because I didn't have, you know, a bit of a circle in Leicester when I moved there originally. And I just needed to get out of the house and try to do something, meet new people doing that. And then I got a business out of it. And then I'm meeting people now through my business. So yeah, it is definitely coming full circle. And that's a good thing about it. I just really like the fact that you can grab a piece of mud basically and make something that can last for like a thousand years. We've got like short lives in the fact that this can outlast like a few centuries. It's just something that's a bit mind blowing. So the fact that I can maybe carry on a legacy a hundred years later down the line, that's just a good feeling. I just want to keep doing it. I'm Simon, I am a ceramicist based in Leicester and I'm the proud owner of Faulty Stone.